Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you this insane bleed build. It is so OP, it one shots nearly everybody. Obviously, later game, it's going to two shot people. But let's dive right in. Look at this. Boom, boom. Let's go right into it. Or what you want to do in the beginning right now is you want to go to Dragon Barrel West. You want to kill these little dudes with these little, like, paddle looking pieces of shit with teeth on the end of it. And you want to slice them up. There will be three specific dudes in this area that will drop that specific weapon. The saw. Obviously, if you go to these dudes without that, that type of weapon, you're not going to kill, you're not going to get the weapon from them. You're going to kill them, but you're not going to get the weapon. They're not going to give you anything. You'll just get ruins of them. And then you want to go and do this a couple of times. You can go spawn in over at that church up top there, and you where the Kluge Beastman is, and you can come back and you can keep going around. They're mostly on the left-hand side of the map. Then you want to come back and you want to go and get a heaps of ruins. You're going to need heaps and heaps of ruins for this. Because you want to go back and you obviously want to upgrade the weapons. You're going to need smithing stones plus 25 because you want to make the weapon capped. Then you're going to go back to the round table and you're going to go upgrade the weapons. I unfortunately couldn't upgrade one of the weapons like fully. But I upgraded it till like it does like a decent amount of like good damage. Then what you want to do is you're going to want to get this certain ash of war. It is... Um, it's probably better to have Sapuke, but this bleed build is really OP anyway, without it. But I wanted to go with one that does like, it's called Soul Dance, and it does like more attacks in in like more of a, a smaller area. So you can like fight and keep, keep in the fight like all the time. And I'll show you exactly where to get it. You're going to want to go all the way here to this little shack here. By this minor entry and you want to run all the way to the side of the cliff and on the side of the cliff you're going to see this little dung beetle pushing his piece of shit and you want to stop that mofo but before you do all of that you're going to want to come up to this jellyfish and you want to slice him up you want to slice him up because he's not looking too good and he's soft like a muffin and his boy's going to be like oh man what the hell are you doing to my boy and you're going to be like i slice him up g and then you want to go over here you want to slice him up and there we go you're going to get the sword dance then what you want to do is you want to go all the way here to Fort Gale North and you want to go to the little castle all the way at the bottom, Fort Gale. And then between these two flames, like uh, flamethrower vehicle thingies, you're going to see this um, the spell, the flaming spell. You're going to need it for this, this bleed build because it, it makes it even more OP. So you're going to want to go all the way here on the side of the cliff. And right between the two of them, you're going to get it. But be careful because they can kind of like two-shot you. They are pretty strong, even though you're higher level. You see, like I got stuck against the wall, almost got killed. But I made it out alive. Easy. Then this is basically showcasing about what the build is like. So leave a like, leave, uh, and please subscribe. And um, like comment if you want me to make like more of these videos. Because I actually enjoyed making this one. Peace.